Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television First the Headlines. Syrian forces are set to recover a strategic rebel town as the insurgent withdrawn from the area after fierce fighting. Sudan's transition towards a civilian rule drags on as the generals and protest leaders run behind schedule. And the total number of Sultanate's visitors exceed 1.4 million by the end of May 2019. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. Syrian government forces look set to recover a strategic town that has been in rebel hands since 2014 in a major Russian-backed offensive into the opposition's last major stronghold. The insurgents had withdrawn from Khan Sheikhoun overnight, though the main insurgent group in the area said rebels still held part of the town and fighting continued. Capturing Khan Sheikhoun would be an important gain for President Bashar al-Assad into the northwestern region, where his bid to recover every inch of Syria has run into complications, including Turkish forces on the ground. The pro-Damascus military source said the town was under army control after the rebels were caught in a pincer movement and fled. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said rebels had withdrawn from their last piece of territory in neighboring Hama province in addition to Khan Sheikhoun. Sudan's transition towards civilian rule got off to a bumpy start as generals and protest leaders fell two days behind schedule today in unveiling a joint sovereign council. The body will replace the transitional military council that took over from longtime ruler Omar al-Bashir when he was forced from power by relentless protests in April. The very first steps of the transition to civilian rule after 30 years of Bashir's regime were proving difficult, however, with disagreements within the protest camp holding up the formation of Sudan's new ruling body. The lineup was due to have been announced on Sunday in line with a deal reached between the Transitional Military Council and the Forces for Freedom and Change Opposition Coalition. The EU today rejected British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's demand to scrap the Irish border backstop plan to achieve a Brexit deal, saying he had offered no workable alternative. Johnson wrote to EU Council President Donald Tusk yesterday to insist that Britain could not accept what he called the anti-democratic backstop, a mechanism to avoid border checks between EU member Ireland and British-ruled Northern Ireland. Since taking office last month, Johnson has been adamant Britain will leave the European Union on October 31st, come what may, and has stepped up preparations for a chaotic no-deal departure that would cause major economic disruption. But the European Commission, the EU executive which has led Brexit negotiations with London, dismissed the proposal in Johnson's letter that the backstop could be replaced with a commitment to find alternative arrangements. Critics say the backstop part of the Brexit divorce deal struck between the EU and Johnson's predecessor, Theresa May, which British MPs have rejected three times, would keep Britain tied to EU rules potentially indefinitely. The total number of the Sultanate's visitors until the end of May 2019 exceeded 1.4 million visitors, of whom 187,000 came by cruise ships, recording an increase by 48% compared to the same period 2018. The tourism sector in the Sultanate is witnessing a successive developments where the number of hotel establishments rose by 12.3% at the end of 2018 to reach 412 hotels compared to 367 in 2017. These increases contributed in attracting more visitors and provided more hotels, making hotels rooms rates competitive prices in the region. The total value of Treasury bills for the issue number 498 of government Treasury bills amounted to 55 million Omani Rials for a maturity period of 91 days, starting from tomorrow Wednesday till the 20th of November 2019. 
The statement issued by the Central Bank of Oman said that the average accepted price amounted to 99 rials and 469 besa for every 100 Omani rials. It also pointed out that the interest price on repurchase rebo operation with the bank is 2.669% for the period from the 20th from the 20th till the 26th of August, whereas the discount price with CBO and Treasury bills facility is 3.419% for the same period. Oman oil price October 2019 delivery reached 59 US dollars and 93 cents per barrel. According to Dubai Mercantile Exchange, Oman oil price rose by 78 cents. The average price of Oman oil September 2019 delivery reached $63.87 per barrel, thus $2.15 higher than the price of August 2019 delivery. Within the framework of interesting in the military heritage, Sultan Armed Forces Museum organized two training programs in the fields of museum guidance and management. The two programs aim to familiarize the participants with modern museums' guiding methods, the history of museums, the methods of displaying the items, artifacts, and the manuscripts in the museum, as well as ways of using lighting techniques and how to manage the cultural events for the museum's visitors. The programs also included practical applications that translate the theoretical curriculum. Still to come in our news bulletin. A forum on motivating the youth and investing their capabilities in useful activities started in the Governorate of Dhofar. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Omantel company concluded the training program for qualifying 20 youth from the Governorate of South Sharqiyya in maintaining smart devices and establishing their own projects. The program aimed to provide employment opportunities for the youth in technology field as well as enhance their skills in programming. At the conclusion ceremony, the participants were honored with hopes to open their own projects in maintaining smart devices and phones. A forum on motivating the youth and investing their capabilities in useful activities was held in the Governorate of Dhofar. It was organized by the Omani Women Association in the Wilaya of Salala. The first day of the forum witnessed a huge turnout from the members of the community as well as the bodies concerned with cultural and social issues, in addition to experts in this field from inside and outside the Sultanate. The forum included discussion sessions on youth issues, challenges and aspirations it also aimed to instill good values and morals in the youth category so as to serve their community and the country efficiently. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Syrian forces are set to recover a strategic rebel town as the insurgents withdrawn from the area after fierce fighting. Sudan's transition towards a civilian rule drags on as the generals and protest leaders run behind schedule. And the total number of Sultanate's visitors exceed 1.4 million by the end of May 2019. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.